Hi, welcome back. So in the last video, we have learned how we can uh, we have learned how to install the SCCM standalone primary site. And in this video, we are going to uh, overviewing the SCCM console, and we'll be seeing how we can open it, how different sites can be connected, what are the uh, ribbons, views, and other other things that are very important when it comes to the console management so uh, opening the configuration console is very simple you can either click on start button and type configuration manager or you will find the folder by the configuration manager just expand that folder click on configuration manager console this is the console and as soon it's uh, it's open it will try to connect to the primary site or to the cache where you have logged in uh, we will come to that option what is cache and what is primary in the coming videos so but once you open it it will automatically try to connect to the uh, to the site or if you are installing in your desktop machine or any other standalone server where the sccm is was not, not installed suppose you have a member server in your environment and you are trying to install that console SCCM console on it and that scenario you have to connect your site at once and after that it will automatically connect so you can see in this I have a site called CHQ and the server name is cm1.corp.contoso.com that's the Microsoft uh, name uh, lab name so now this is the uh, how the SCCM console will look like and we will have a deep overview of this uh, now uh, if now I was talking about how you can can I mean if you have installed an SCCM client on a member server or any other file server or uh, you have installed it for your Dex, Dex side engineer or for a help Dex user or for an admin SCCM admin and they wanted to open it how you can do it you can go over here you can see this icon and when you click on it it will give you an option that connect to the site and it will open a new dialog box and over here you have to type the fully qualified domain name of your central site primary site or the secondary site where you wanted to connect it in our case we only have one primary site so we can connect it over here and when you click it will automatically connect to the that particular site so this is how you can connect it uh, when you are installing the console on a new machine this is very simple and if I go on about section you can see it's 2303 the latest SCCM is installed on this uh, on this so this is how you can connect it now uh, let's uh, jump into the uh, the console overview so before I jump in uh, let me bring okay so on the top corner on the top side this part is known as ribbon in SCCM so these are the ribbon and you will find a couple of things over here like uh, for me it's it's uh, showing as of now save and uh, save save searched save current search etc etc so these are the uh, the ribbon that you can see now uh, if you see uh, the area that is over here this is called as navigation panel so what you can, this is called a navigation panel so uh, over here what you can do you can explore the things related to users devices users collections device collections uh, you have asset and uh, intelligency over here software metering uh, compliance settings you can find over here so these these things are called as navigation panel you can actually navigate it through by exploring or clicking the options okay this is called as this area is called as navigation panel and this area at the bottom this is called as workspace I will write it over here this is called as work space okay and if you wanted to I mean uh, there is one more thing that I wanted to tell it over here and that was uh, if 
you click on this icon you can actually customize this thing suppose I don't want this asset and compliance to be at the top and I wanted to get it changed so what I will do I will navigate I want suppose I, I am a decide engineer and I do a lot of stuff in monitoring I want this to be go up so what I will do I will keep it moving click OK and you will see this is over here also if I wanted to get rid of some of thing we can actually remove these folders from here okay so I will make it little down and I want my software to be up and I want my administration to be up now see how it has changed now so this is called as workspace over here we can actually uh, as of so when I clicked on asset and compliance you will find a different in the navigation panel you find find different things when I click on workspace if I change the workspace you will find different things on the navigation panel like application management you can manage the applications you can up, up, uh, manage the software update from here you can uh, deploy or manage the operating system related things from here like drivers driver package images and all those stuff you can create a sequence boot image from here uh, you can do the servicing part as well uh, as a part of uh, servicing uh, you can check uh, desktop analytics from here and uh, you can manage the Microsoft Edge update you can manage the office updates from here and if I change to in the workspace if I change the to the administrator you can do the administration of the site you can manage the users you can uh, manage the distribution point distribution group and other other stuff will be and in the monitoring tab if I click the navigation panel will be filled with the monitoring stuff related we can do the monitoring we can check the deployment we check the phase deployment what is the status of my script so these things can be done by changing the uh, the tab or by changing the workspace in the workspace panel okay this is uh, very simple now you will find a bar over here this is the bar from here to here now this is called as search bar anything that you wanted to search can be searched from here so if you want to search a machine if I suppose if I click on uh, users and if I wanted to search this CM1 machine if I type on search bar CM1 it will give us the result just like if I click on CM that whatever the machine that start with the CM will give you the search result from the search bar this is called as search bar and uh, just be below the search bar this is called as list view this entire panel is called as list view uh, what this mean is that you can actually view your uh, it, it will give you the list of uh, the things that you are actually trying to view it and below that this is called as description description or detail panel this is called as detail panel DP you can call it in short form so I have clicked on on the search I have clicked on AP1 so it is giving the detail of the AP1 machine that what is the machine what is the client type uh, what is the active directory uh, site name for this what are the policy heartbeat as of now we have not done this machine has not have active client so you will not be able to find any of these details however once the machine has an active client and when it started sending the DDR you will be seeing that these things uh, the policy request DDR hardware scan what is the management point where it is connected when the last the state message was uh, uh, you know shown uh, date last when it was seen online and what is the communication I mean you will be able to find out the details over here so that this this is called as detail panel okay so and uh, let me clear this up now uh, you have understood I guess
so that was the quick overview of uh, how the console is look like so in the upcoming video what we are going to do is we are going to configure the SCCM uh, discovery methods and boundaries so we will let you know how to what are the discovery methods and how to configure them so stay tuned and if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe thank you so much